Welcome back. Uh, so the question came up at some point. Michael Steinberg suggested we end the day with music. And after so much discussion about the meaning of this work, what do you play to conclude a conference like this? So uh, our colleague Laura Satilia came forward with uh, an idea which I think is just right. And I will let her tell you more about this work. But um, in advance, thank you for being with this very rich conversation all day. Uh, threads going from the very morning to, to just the concluding conversation about power and repertoire. And in, uh, with all of this swirling in our minds, I hope this last segment is a chance to have this deepen through a different kind of aesthetic witnessing. So, um, Laura Satilia. Thank you. I'm really nervous. I don't usually present this kind of music in this kind of situation, <laughs> but um, I'm Laura Satilia. I am a resident musician at Community Music Works. I teach and play cello. Um, I'm co-director of the Media Lab, and uh, I'm allowed to produce experimental music concerts um, through the organization. Um, and I'm gonna introduce to you the piece that we're about to play. Um, it's by Andre Cormier, and he is uh, an Acadian composer. Um, he wrote this piece in 2014 uh, to actually commemorate the birth of my, of my daughter. Um, and it's called Impact Craters. Um, and it's from a series of pieces that he wrote with the specific intention of being playable by anyone who wants to play them, um, despite their background or their musical training. And in the sense, professional musicians and non-professionals can play side by side in equality. Um, and that's why I felt this was a very fitting piece for uh, today. Um, the score is completely egalitarian in many aspects. Uh, there is no beginning or end. No one is saying where you should start the piece. Um, it's a circular score, which I think was invented by Stockhausen, possibly. Um, but it's bound with a, a binder, so you can choose whichever page you want to start on um, as, an, as individuals. Uh, also, Everyone has all the same musical directions. Uh, the cellos aren't relegated to a bass line, the violas don't have harmony, and the violins don't get to hog all the me melodic material. Um, <laughs> but there actually is no melodic material, so <laughs> that simplifies things. Um, and the directions are very simple. Uh, it's just a series of 10 notes played over 21 minutes. So if you think about that, that means there's going to be a lot of silence. Um, and we will all feel uncomfortable in this silence, especially the musicians, because we're not used to sitting in silence. Um, but eventually, something will happen and we'll all start to settle, settle into the silence. Um, and I wanted to explain the score just, just to show how simple it is and uh, accessible. You, you, have, you only need very minimal musical training to understand. Um, the title at the top is the name of, a, of an impact crater somewhere on the planet Earth. Then there's a duration of time underneath, uh, three minutes. And then there is a symbol, uh, on that one, it's on the line, and that means to play a complex tone in the middle register of your instrument. A complex tone just means two or more notes. So in our case, we would play on two strings. Um, and you do that gesture at whatever dynamic it says one time, 
during that duration of, of time. So, uh, and at any point during that, that duration of time. So it's really up to individuals to decide when they come in and, and then they sit in silence until that duration of time has passed. And then they move on to the next page, uh, which is slightly different. And so there's 10 pages like this, um, and we systematically go through them at our, at our different durations. And if you do all of the pages, you end together. Um, Andre is a really good friend of mine. I've been playing his music for 15 years. Uh, I feel he has a very unique take on time. I've never played any music like his before. Um, and I, he, I was talking to him on the phone and he said that everyone is born an experimental musician. As, as babies, we explore sound um, just for the sake of hearing sound for what it is. Uh, no one, we have no expectations of what sound should be. And I find this so liberating. Um, and Andre uh, ex has experienced life very differently than most people. He's, he has a degenerative disease um, and he's lived in a wheelchair for most of his life. And I think his life experience is written into these uniquely challenging pieces. Um, and I just want to thank Phase Two, uh, our teenage group, for coming out and playing this unusual music um, for you. <laughs> so this is Impact Craters. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say. Um, uh, the, I, the artistic, the aesthetic behind the piece, um, so each page is named after an impact crater. The duration correlates to the size of the impact crater. So there's one page that's five minutes long and it's the loudest one and that's the biggest impact crater um, that is in, in the series of pieces. And in a way, when the piece is performed, it's sort of the, the millennia condensed into 21 minutes. Um, so, and we're using stopwatches to keep track of the time, so please don't be distracted by us uh, and our devices. Um, ideally, it would be nice to, to just feel the time passing by, but just for practical reasons, we're using time, time keepers. Um, and musicians are spread throughout the space, and uh, there's nothing to see, just listen.